I'm just going to devour it. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare a half sided pork belly and turn it into a beautiful smoked piece of meat. I went to my butcher and I asked for half a side of pork belly and look at it, it's a beauty. A lot of meat on it, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Except for there's still some bones and cartilage in it and I'm going to take it out. First I want to remove the bones, so I'm going to take my knife, make an incision and work the knife along the bone until we get it out. We're going to repeat that process until we remove all of the bones. Then I'm going to take out the cartilage that's in this pork. Just use your fingers, figure out where it is and remove it with your knife without taking out too much meat. You can have your butcher do all this, but where's the fun in that? If you're cooking pork belly, you don't have to worry about the complexity of things. The cuisine is not very specific. You can go all the way to pulled, but you can be somewhere in between. Just don't undercook it and you'll be fine. The flavors of the pork belly are not very explicit either. It's not something that you're gonna say, oh, I enjoy the flavor of pork belly so much. No, you have to add things to it. You have to make the flavors pop by adding things to it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to make pork belly fun. First, we're gonna make a tasty rub. Starting with a little bit of salt, paprika powder, onion powder, garlic powder, curry powder, and we're gonna finish it off with some oregano. If you wanna know the exact recipe, go to our website. When we got all the spices on, we're going to make a layer of ham on the inside, followed by a layer of pepperoni, and of course, we need cheese. So we're gonna sprinkle on some old Gouda cheese for extra flavor, followed by some young Gouda cheese, and finished off with some mozzarella cheese for that extra stringy cheese. Roll that all up and tie it together with some butcher's twine. Check the outside with a little bit of rub one last time and it's ready for the smoker. I just got the notification our pork belly is done. We smoked it at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius till we reached a core temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. The cheese is melted, it's time to take a closer look. Big rolls like this always make me smile. One, there's enough food for everybody. Two, it's always so juicy. And three, most of the times, they taste really good. This specific roast, it's got a beautiful outside crust. I'm gonna take my knife and let you guys listen to this. Even though that we didn't have the skin on, by having the dry air go around it, it just took out all of the moisture that's on the outside, dried it up and created a beautiful flavorful crust together with our barbecue rub. And I can talk about this all day if you want me to, but I'm guessing you just want me to bite into it right now. This looks great. Mm. This is perfectly balanced. Oh, and it has a lot of flavor. Mm. You can eat this warm and you can eat it cold. That wrap is really good. I love pork belly so much. I'm just going to devour it. It's instant gratification. Oh man, the pepperoni. You know, having that rub on the outside and on the inside, it's like, mm mm. That's amazing. But then doing something extra by putting in the ham, the pepperoni, the cheeses, it just makes it so much better. It gives an Italian bite to it. What are you doing? You had a fly in your head. Sorry. Really? It's a, yeah, really. Mm. I'm just going to con continue to eat. I'm a total winner. It's juicy. Basically anything you stop that pork belly with, it's going to work. It's tender. Just put your favorite thing in. And that, that, that flavor. Mm. Fantastic. It's, it's not really making me think of any special dish. It's like a combination of, of different flavor profiles. It freaking tastes good. A little bit of Italian flavor, but you also got like Dutch flavors. I mean, the cheese is in it. You can't screw it up. Well, you can, but you have to try really, really hard. It has crispy bits. If you got 10 million things to do, just make it up front. 
pop it in the oven, pop it in the barbecue, do whatever you want, put it on the spit. Oh, I'm going to do this. I, I need to. I'm gonna share though. It's gonna be really forgiving and it's gonna be so amazing. I, 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 I need to taste this piece. I need to taste the, the fat, fat piece. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have another one. Mm. Problem is just getting some of that inside to go with it. That's it. You kind of have to like make a little boat. Ah, see how it dropped out? This is a really terrific dish. Mm. Ah, ah. Mm. You gotta make this at home. Yeah. Take care of the five. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys are gonna make this recipe because you're gonna be so happy when you do. Let me know if you're gonna make it in the comments down below. Big thank you to our patrons and the YouTube members as always guys. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Until then. It's smacklet. Mm. It's even good. Mmm. This is really good. We should try it with a sandwich. Why didn't you eat that piece that I cut up? This is really good. You should try it. It's like bacon. But I'm already enjoying this so much. Can you grab the sandwiches? Oh, oh yeah. I think it's gonna be amazing on sandwiches. And we don't even need mayonnaise for it. No, we don't. You can it's also all there. you can also do this on your bun me sandwich. Yeah. One for you, one for me.